All right, Dayton voters elected a new leader earlier this week. City Commissioner Nan Whaley was chosen as the new mayor. And this morning, the mayor, I should technically say the mayor-elect, joins <laughs> us now to talk about her plan for the next four years. Uh, first of all, Nan, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, that it's was great to be here this quite morning. quite a scene on Tuesday night when you came into the room and all yeah. your supporters were there. Yeah, it was really, <laughs> it was really touching. You know, uh, when you do a campaign for over a year and you recognize that you have, you know, over 200 people helping you out and then they all show up, it's, it's, a, it's a great, great experience experience um, pretty tight race uh, you described your, your opponent as saying that uh, him describing Dayton as being a dying city how did you interpret that was that what won it for you and how does your view differ from that dying city quote well I think I think that was a key point in the difference in the race you know we know we have work to do in the city and uh, when I decided to run for mayor one of the first things I did was put together what we called the roadmap for a new Dayton that really focused around jobs neighborhoods and being an open and progressive city put that out and really had the commissioner's support in that effort to talk about how we could really position and leverage our assets to create jobs and create a, a new future um, I think the big difference between my opponent and I was I really believe that Dayton's best days are ahead of ourselves you're on the flip side of that you're you're contending that Dayton is alive and well and thriving but I think at the same time you're a realist and know that uh, the economic growth is slow it is and you know we recognize that we've had some significant issues through the greatest recession since the Great Depression specifically around manufacturing and and auto manufacturing but that doesn't mean that we should turn our backs on that effort and we really need to work and leverage and help promote that because we make things in Dayton if we don't make things in Dayton we have bigger problems uh, specific plans for some economic growth as far as getting some companies in here getting more jobs in here what can we do uh, possibly some some tax deals some incentives things ideas that you have to get some new companies in here and create jobs. Right, sure. We're really excited, you know, even downtown right right now, we have two $20 million developments on the table right now uh, to really work with the greater downtown plan and grow our housing and our community downtown. But also, you know, we need to recognize that we have to have uh, a strong manufacturing base. We have to do more connections with Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. All of these things I talk about in the plan and really looking forward to activating it. Earlier on the news, uh, you may have seen a vacant the uh, house mm -hmm. caught fire for the second time. Um, this uh, parlays right into your theory of abandoned properties. It is a problem here. It's been a problem in other Ohio cities mm -hmm. as well. They've tried to tackle it. How bad of a problem is it? How are you going to tackle that? Right. You know, when I started on the commission, we were only tearing down around 50 houses a year. Uh, this past year, we tore down over 500. So there's been a big change in policy direction from the commission. Uh, and we still need to have a lot of work to do. So, you know, we're always uh, working to get more dollars in from federal and state sources uh, and recognizing that this isn't alone. Dayton's not alone in this. Other uh, legacy cities in the Midwest have this issue because of sprawl and because of the predatory lending crisis. And so we have a lot of work to do to get our housing stock right. Now, at the same time, time while we're doing that the city of Dayton you know two weeks ago was announced with the most housing starts of any city in the region which is a really big deal I think you'd have to go back 30 or 40 years for Dayton to be the lead on housing starts in the community so at the same time we're re re really reinventing our neighborhoods and our communities while right-sizing and getting rid of some of that housing stock that just doesn't have market value talking about a, a really big deal final thought coming up in January your swearing in <laughs> ceremony yeah. this is you know everybody makes their own mm. little unique special <laughs> sure. swearing any plans right now for what you're gonna do <laughs> well, you know, we just we just got elected, you know, a few uh, 72 hours ago. So we, we know it's set by city charter January 6th at 8.30 a.m. Uh, the whole community and region is definitely invited. Uh, so we'll be working with uh, my colleagues who are getting sworn in with me, Commissioner Williams and Commissioner Menz. It's a, it's a definite city event and something that we really want to, we know we want to do something special to celebrate Dayton. All right. Mayor-elect Nan Whaley, appreciate your time today. Thanks. Thanks. Good to You're see gonna you. You're going to be busy for the next four years, yeah, right? Yeah, I hope so. I have to do my best for Dayton. All right, we'll stop by once in a while. Oh, absolutely. We do appreciate it.